breaking news in order to please Muhammad Buhari and to do what we call damage control, a Boeing state governor, including the police, have connived to lying. Can you believe it? I'll give you a little story about the Eboin State Governor. David Umay is his name. This very man was in PDP. Um, listen, guys, disclaimer, we are not for PDP, APC, or any of these parties. As a matter of fact, they have made this country what it is today. None of them is better. Okay? But let's get the, th the trail of thought. Where are we headed? The very party... He was in a PDP where he was a deputy governor. I mean, all that, you know, they keep recycling themselves. They don't end them. They just continue until they die on the spot, on the, on the job, right? So he was there and he said, whoa, after having a meeting, whatever they promised him, president or vice president, he came and said, well, um, PDP has been unfair to Southeast. As a matter of fact, he wants to deal with PDP. He's leaving to APC. As soon as he moved to APC, things fell apart in a Boeing state. I served in a Boeing state, and I know exactly what I'm talking about. My youth service was in a Boeing state. Recently, less than 72 hours ago, we reported to you that there was an explosion. Someone who um, designated a uh, verse that was on him, what was doing was trying to get into a school. But thank God for the security man who questioned him and he could not articulate what his intentions were. When he saw he could not gain access to go and kill people's children, he was heading towards the big market where the vest went off. And of course, he was shattered. Everybody was aware of it. Guess what? Immediately that occurred and all that, the governor now, as we speak, is doing what we call damage control. Himself and the police alike, lying to the general public that nothing happened. You won't believe it. Let's get the details. Bomb explosion in Afikbo. Police, a Boeing state governor, lied. The Human Rights Association of Nigeria has called on the governor of a Boeing state and the police command in the state to stop lying over the designated bomb which killed a policeman as well on Tuesday. Daily Post has reported that an explosion occurred opposite Aze Primary School in Afikbo, north in a Boeing state on Tuesday, which plunged residents into tension while passers-by ran for safety. Some residents who witnessed the explosion said a Susa bomber was trying to gain access into a primary school before he accidentally blew himself. However, the state police command debunked the result, the report, saying it was nothing. It was a mere police officer who mistakenly hit the lead of his grenade, which was hung on his waist, with this with his elbow, resulting in the deadly explosion. A statement by the special assistant now to a boy state governor of media and publicity, Frank Enwuze, also described the report as the handiwork of master chief makers who wants to discredit the governor and make the state ungovernable. Why do Nigerian politicians always pass on the blame? What happened in Afikbo, that's a, an area in a boy state, was, it did not happen in the secret, it was well known to everybody that such and such and such happened. In fact, all news media outlet carried it that this was what happened. People were worried and those who had loved ones in the area was calling to make sure that everything was all right. Yet, the governor of the state is trying to, add, maybe he's trying to, I don't understand it, probably um, give people more confidence in the government that um, those who are carrying out this activity, because the truth of the matter is, if this is not dealt with, I'm sorry to say I'm not the bearer of bad news. It is the beginning of more to come. So maybe they are trying to do what we call damage control, make people feel safe and tell them that, oh, nothing, uh, it was not a, a serious matter. It was just... Um, a police officer and all that, you know. But guess what? The group called on the independent forensic investigation into the explosion. The statement reads in part, we do not accept the official explanation given by the state government and the police. In the incident that happened, 
that eyewitnesses were evidence to what happened, body parts being shattered, being lied upon, that it was just a policeman. The person in question was not a policeman. This was a target attack to start unrest in a boy state. Yet the government is hiding, hiding under what this guy's only God knows. So my people, here you have it. This is the same governor who said that, uh, oh, the Fulani men and the bandits are our children. His children, by the way. Those were the very words, reporting speech. He said they are our children. Mm, we should allow them be. We should allow them, you know, uh, carry on with business as usual. We should give them what we call. All this is to please Muhammad Buhario. Tinibu, I don't know who's going to be the president if Nigeria remains as one after 2023. You know, because the whole agitation and the international community is watching how Nigerian government is playing her politics and, you know, disturbing destruction of lives and politics under the influence and pretense that they are a democratic uh, government. You know, I don't know how they are going to do it. Ashwaju Bola Tinubu is on one side trying to please every Tom, Dick and Harry. A boy state governor is on the other side. I don't know what was promised to Ben, the governor of a uh, Cross River State. Because his statement and his reason for leaving his party, I don't care whatever party he belongs to. Anyway, it's PDP, but it's not because we are, we are not advocating for any of them because every one of them has failed. And since none of them spoke. In fact, they were against the youth. So let's move on. I don't know what that one has been promised. His statement exactly was, oh, the, uh, the, go the, the, the President Muhammad Buhari has done excellently well in his opinion. And his way of supporting Buhari was to join the party to give him more boost to continue to do more. And Nigerians are wondering, excuse me, in what area, sector, and in which person's life has Buhari touched? How much were you given and what position were you promised? What exactly were your terms of agreement and arrangement with this said group? Because if you are not blind, you should see. Yes, if you are not blind, the result of effect is that you're, if you are not blind for any reason, you know, long sight, short sight, and whatever co disease comes with eyesight, if none of those are happening, the, 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 the diagnosis is that you should be able to see. So if, if that's if you see an optician and they've analyzed that. So, I mean, that's it. It is what it is. What were you promised? Now they are doing what we call damage control. I, I, you can see. Guys, guys, please leave us a comment. These people are, ah, no, 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 no. God have mercy. God bless you. Bye for now.